Hey guys, so today we're talking about beer gardens. Exciting subject. I'd love to say that I got out to all of them and checked them all out, but sadly I didn't this year. So join me after this break and I'll tell you about them. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Okay, so beer gardens. They're not all in Racine. I've done some from outside the area as well because although we have quite a few really good beer gardens, I wanted to give you an overall picture of the local ones because we have so many. So first off is one in Racine. It's in Franksville and it's the Franksville Memorial Park. It does 16 to 22 craft beers. Food trucks are open there. Um, they're open from Thursday to Sunday and they even have live music on a weekend. So lots for everyone there. You got the music, you get the drink get to enjoy yourself they even will reserve tables for you if you've got a larger party and you all want to sit together um, why not get in touch with them you can book a table ahead of time obviously uh, so if you've got a birthday party anniversary something like that going on and or just you know maybe a school reunion you all want to get together why not go down to the beer garden they will set aside a table for you great stuff so the next one is just slightly out of Racine, just over the border into Kenosha, is Petrifying Springs. We love that beer garden. We've been there quite a few times. They have craft beers on, ciders, wine, lots of German food, bratwurst, you know. And it's really, really good. They've got some great food there. You can even take your dog along there as long as you keep them on a leash. It's a great fenced off area there, but or you can sit outside the fenced area. You can grab a grab a beer and sit in your own chairs, take your own chairs along. So it's a great place to go. Um, and this coming weekend, they have a special event on. So on Saturday, October 12th, they have a booze and brews. So it's a scary night. So it's Halloween. So if you dress up, the best costumes could win a prize. So why not go down there and uh, let us know how you get on. See if you're a winner. Send us your picture of any costumes that you're going to wear and, uh, you know, take down there. So we can put it on the site. Next one is also in Kenosha. It's one of our favorites. It is a pub. It's not quite strictly a beer garden but it has a big courtyard outside where they have music live entertainment karaoke nights down there trivia they serve food out there so there's tables and chairs out there um, so you can sit around and chat or you can sit there and listen to the music you can eat inside as well there is a restaurant area as well as a bar so it's a great place to go, and that is Union Tavern, Union Park Tavern. Uh, the outside courtyard there, as I say, live bands, karaoke, and it's open daily. So why not get along there if you, uh, you know, if you're in Kenosha? It's a great place to go. Check them out, see what's on. They have great food there as well. The fish fry is really, really good. So give it a tr give it a try. Um, next on the list uh, we're moving even further away but then i'll come back on myself so the next one is lake andrea beer garden it's over in pleasant prairie by lake andrea yeah, who who would have thought it and that's open thursday to sunday but check before you go because it is getting towards the end of the season now as the colder weather comes in and they may be shutting so uh, check it out before you go on any of these venues. Um, you know, it is a summer thing that they do, even though it's Oktoberfest and that coming up, but 
there a lot of these venues have been having their Oktoberfest in September, so just be warned. But Lake Andrea is right on the lake. You've got the beach there. You've got the park area, um, music, stuff like that. So it's, there's something for all the family there. You've got the beach. You can, you know, go swimming in the summer if you want. Uh, if it's warmer weather, you might like to go swimming. Um, next one is the beer gardens in Kenosha. So we're coming back to Kenosha. There's uh, a place called the beer gardens. They have a big outside structure that they uh, have a bar there and uh, over cover. So if it starts raining, you're not going to get soaked. But it looks like a great venue and it's quite large as well. So that's a good place to go. Now one I haven't been to, I've heard a lot about it and it looks really, really good. Um, I've been on their website, been on their Facebook, haven't fortunately enough been there. And that's the Croatian Park Beer Garden. It's over in Franklin. It's now closed. It's open, it opened uh, May 16th and closed on October 3rd. It looks really good, so I want to try that one out next year. I want to pop along there and see what it's like. Um, they've got lots of Croatian um, wine, spirits, and beers, and food. So get to try another culture. Get over there and let me know what you think. If you've ever been there, why not let me know how good it is? Because um, it looks really good. It looks like piety vibes on steroids over there. So <laughs> let me know if you think the same. It looks good. Um, the last one on the list is South Shore. South Shore Terrace Kitchen and Beer Garden is in Milwaukee on the south side. Uh, that's open Saturday and Sunday from 12 to 6. Why not give it a try? Um, it looks really good. Right on the south side. So if you're up in Milwaukee and you want to try St. Cal, there you go. The South Shore Terrace Kitchen and Beer Garden in Milwaukee. Um, it looks good, uh, you know, from the pictures I've seen. I haven't been there personally. Um, I've been to, you know, Petrifying Springs. I've been to the one in Racine down by, uh, down by the marina and that. Um, but some of these beer gardens, they just set up for like a weekend, three days, and they're done. So these are the more long-term ones that are there throughout the year, you know, quite, uh, for at least a month anyway, they're open. So why not give them a try? Um, maybe next year or indeed this year. Obviously, drink responsibly, don't drink and drive, uh, look after your designated driver if you have one, and make sure they're fed and watered so that they will get you home nice and safe. Either that or use Uber. Why not? Great thing to have. So let me know what you think about this video. Don't forget to click the like button, the uh, uh, subscribe, and also turn that notification bell on so you don't miss any future content. We always look forward to reading your comments, so don't forget to comment below and we will get to you um, and let you know that we've seen that comment and answer any questions you have. So why not get in touch? Let us know what you want to see or if there's a beer garden I missed but you think it should be on the list, let me know because I'll do another one next year and this time I might get to see them. So bye for now.